Well, I finally finished building all the furniture for my new craft studio room. And here it is. And this is what it looks like from the doorway. My husband, God bless him, hung these shelves for me. He did it while I wasn't here. So they're not quite where I wanted them. So the bottom one has to move up a little bit and the top one has to move down, but that's okay. Here's my desk, table, my sit-stand desk, and my trusty old painting table. So we'll start over here. We got most of the furniture from Ikea. I already had the chairs. So this is the Hermes, Hermes, I don't know how to pronounce it, desk. And it's the bottom with a hutch on top. It took me the better part of yesterday to put the desk and the hutch together. I love it. I think it looks great. This was the, really the only piece that I built that gave me, it was, it was difficult. I found putting the drawers into the desk difficult, but it wasn't, it wasn't so bad that I wouldn't do it again. And like I said, over here we have my shelves, which are going to be for some storage and some decoration. This is a, and you'll for, have to forgive me because I can't pronounce some of the names from Ikea. It's a lim, Limnen, Limnen desktop. This is the biggest one. I think it's 78 inches with an Alex drawer set holding up the one end and then just regular table legs holding up the other. I'm going to use some of my cubes that I had gotten from Michael's years ago underneath this for additional storage. And over here is my Skarska sit-stand desk. And that was really easy to build. I mean, the table was easy to build too because it was just putting the legs on the top and putting that together. I think it took me less than an hour to do this table and the, the drawers. This also took me less than an hour. I did need my son to come and help me because if you build it upside down, then you have to flip it over. So that was the only help I needed. And there's a, I don't know if you can see it. Right under there, there's a little handle crank. You pull that out and you can crank it higher or lower depending on what you would like to have. Underneath is my Raskog cart. This one has glues and my Big Shot in it, um, some pens, my stamping blocks, and my heat gun for embossing. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that under this table or move it into the closet because I want to also use some of my cubes under here for more storage for my paper storage. And then this, another Alex drawer unit. I have my inks in here, my watercolor papers, my watercolor paints, some sort of um, bits and pieces in there. I can show you later everything that's in there. Once I get this room organized, I may move things around. This is my table that I got years and years ago at Leon's. It was the first piece of furniture I got for my craft room when I had moved from the basement up. It's where I do anything that's wet and messy, <laughs> um, painting, mixed media, anything like that goes on here. And underneath here is my other Ruskog cart filled with my paints, delusions on the bottom with uh, golden and Liquitex. And, and then on the top, I know you can't see it, is all my distressed paints and the smaller paint tubes. And I wanna use some more storage under here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it yet. And then I'm pretty sure my television will go up here. Maybe another shelf or two there. And then here's the closet, which I haven't quite emptied out yet. And I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange that for all my storage, but that's it. This is my room in a nutshell. I think it turned out great. Just to let you know, I used the Ikea floor planner to pick out all the furniture and the arrangement. I, I really enjoyed using that because you put in the dimensions of your room and where the doors and windows are, and then you can click on 
the furniture that Ikea has and the sizes come up automatically and, I, and you just click and drag it into the, the floor plan. And that way you can see what'll fit where. So that's it. I'm looking forward to moving all my stuff in here. I know this is the cleanest it will ever be, so I'm trying to enjoy it while I can. Okay, thanks for watching.